have in front of me a Saab portable 35 centimeter uh, camping satellite dish kit. The idea of this kit basically is to make it very portable and very easy to assemble and in that it achieves uh, its aim extremely well. It's manufactured by Saab. Saab are the, the premium manufacturer of satellite dishes in Europe and they supply to virtually all their major competitors. Um, you know, I could go into the full list of it here, but uh, they're a company that are originally based in Turkey, where most satellite dishes in Europe are made, and they have a huge distribution and development center in Holland as well, okay? We have a lot of dealings with them. We find them a really tremendous company. So in terms of, this is the plastic box that you'll be using. When you purchase it initially, it'll come in this outer box here. So um, let me just show you that. And then we'll come along, we'll look at the major thing here. Now I've taken out most of the components here already. I decided not to take out the dish yet, simply to be able to demonstrate to people what we have. So we just open it up here. We'll have this piece of protective foam here. And we just look inside here and we have the dish. What we can do is we can just lean in. And I'm just going to do it with both hands here. I'm just going to pop out this corner here. And it simply comes out like that. So it's actually quite... Um, it's clipped in so that when you push it down, it'll sit in the position. And then when you come along to do it, uh, you just push it back in. So it's easy to push back in, and you just need a good bit of force to pull it back out. But it's so it won't get damaged during transportation. So basically, the dish is assembled here. And there's two ways of mounting it. I'm going to show you the typical way people will mount it, which is uh, directly onto, we'll say, the roof of a car or something like that. And then the other way of mounting it would be uh, off a pole or bracket, okay? So there's an instruction manual here, and it's pretty good. It just describes how you're going to do it. So the first thing to see here is that um, we have a base, and there's a suction pad on it. And you turn on and off the suction pad simply by lifting and pressing down this. to pull on the suction thing. So you obviously could wet it slightly and then just drop it down and click on. Um, the next thing here is if you actually come along here, we can mount this directly into our space by coming in here, and then what we do is we just click in, and we can tighten this in, and we can tighten it to the point of where we have a good strength on it. We have this here, which is our adjustment for locking things into position. So what I'm gonna do here is, that'll be for locking it and holding it into a certain position. So you can see now we've added stability immediately. So there's a bar here, which we can use for coming along and actually mounting this in. So we'll just slide this bar in here, and we use two of the following. The first thing is we just use this little tightening nut here. So once again, we don't need any tools for this. We can just do it directly by hand. And it's great now to be able to assemble a dish without needing to do anything there. And we just tighten this in. It just locks the arm into position. And the next thing to do is we will come along and we will assemble this. Now this bracket would normally we could come along and have it fully assembled already if we needed to. But basically what we're doing is we're just pushing a bolt in here we have a, a nut that goes on the far side here, and when it slots down, it slots down into a space that's exactly the shape of the nut. So if I get a screwdriver on this end and I start to tighten it, it'll tighten it right in. I, I don't need to be holding this nut because it's been held in place by the actual frame itself. I'm not sure if you're fully picking up on that. But what will we be tightening in there? Well, of course, what we'll be doing is we'll be tightening it in something like an LNB. So I'll just demonstrate with no nuts in place, be able to see the exact scenario. So we'll have it here, we'll put the cover on, and it needs to push on like that. And we'll use this again to screw into a threaded bar here to lock it into position. And now we have the perfect offset from the dish to the um, pole here. And what we can do then is we can simply connect that on uh, once we have it aligned. So in terms of what, what would we use or what will assist us in doing the aligning of the dish? Well, it comes with a small magnet here, so that we'll just be able to see and we'll know that particular thing. So in Ireland, if we're um, aligning a dish, and basically the same for the UK, it's uh, basically southeast is direction you need to point between about 138 up to about 142 degrees is the general angle people will be pointing. So if we come along and, and we have a pole that we can mount on, instead of using this base that we see here, we could remove the dish from the base, which I'm going to do here. And what we could do is we could actually come along and we could I'll just show you very briefly, without the initial position, we can just come along, we can get this here, we can push a bolt down through it, to lock it into position and the nut on the far side, so you can imagine this is now bolted into position, and what we use then is these U-bolts here, I can come along, and we can mount it directly on, um, so that we have a 90 degree rotation when we go to do this, 
So depending on whether the pole is mounted this way or vertically, it allows us to connect directly on and hold it. So we'll bolt this directly through. We'll just give a quick demonstration how we could do it here. We can put the U-bolt around the bar, hold it in there and screw it in. And these are winged nuts here. So we'll be able to tighten it in directly. So we could mount it on that way. And then what we'll be doing is we'll be using this base here to screw in and then we'll be using the locking mechanism that I showed earlier just to screw in here and to lock it into position. So it's, it's effectively two different ways of doing it. But I think most people, if it's not very windy conditions, would be used to something like this. But if there was a pole in the air, you're going to be stopped for a while and you wanted to minimize the chance of it moving or you'll be moving the car during the day and you don't have to dish on it, you could actually just use it to mount it that way. Now the question most people will ask us on this is, you know, most of the satellite dishes we're selling here will be in the 60 centimeter range. And that's the ideal size, we'll say, for Ireland for generally picking up um, Astra 2, which is Sky, BBC, Freesat channels, all the rest of it. Well, if we looked at the UK market, for instance, instead of Ireland, what they're using over there is a 40 centimeter uh, zone one dish. So this is almost equivalent in size, and the 40 centimeter is generally plenty. So it, this will work indeed uh, in right across the UK, and depending on what satellite you're aiming for in continental Europe, of course, will be perfect, depending on where the beam is focused. Indeed, the Sky Zone 1 dishes will work quite well in a lot of regions in Ireland. So it will work in different parts of Ireland as well. But if we were getting over to extreme um, past midway in Ireland, into Donegal, Kerry, things like this, for picking up um, Astra 2, you might really struggle with a dish this size. But it definitely has its uses. In terms of the compact nature of the design and all the rest of it, what Saab have come up with here is far superior to what most of the competitors have. And in the, in the fact that you can assemble it so quickly and the price point that's coming in at makes it a very, very attractive. It's very neat and compact and easy to transport. And um, so we've just decided to add it on. It'll definitely be a niche market on the freetv.ie website, but one that's certainly serving the needs of our customers. So that's it anyway, an overview of the Saab portable 35 centimeter camping satellite uh, dish kit.